Alright, so we got a 91 E70B leak and final drive. Pretty simple when it's a face seal like that. It's the culprit right there. $30 pot. I'm sure you guys the pot number. Right here. You see that? You're gonna need brake clean. You gotta clean that face seal up as good as you can. Flat head screwdrivers. Toss away Harbor Freight pick. I usually hate Harbor Freight, but for this, we're gonna use it. You're gonna grind each side down so it's pretty flat. All right, that's the only way it's gonna fit to grab that locking ring in the face. <clears throat> Eight milli Allen head socket to get your drain plugs out. Devlo hammer. <clears throat> you fill tube. Fill in your yeah. you fill in. Uh, let's see, you're gonna need a slide hammer. All right, this is kind of a custom setup. This is a coupling to fit my slide hammer. Whatever threads are on your slide hammer, you need to find the coupling that's going to fit. And from there, you're gonna get 3 8 pipe thread and weld it on that coupling. All right, I will show you what we do, but basically, when this is all loose, it's gonna be in your drain hole. You're gonna slam it out, and it's gonna come out as one piece. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna be marring it up with a screwdriver. It's no good. I don't know, white lithium grease. Just gotta lube up the face when you go to install it. And last but not least, some good old Cat 30 weight. Stay away from the uh, tractor supply shit. They've been saying that there's been a ton of water in their fluids, be it, you know, gear fluid or oil, so. Do yourself a favor and spend the quality. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna clean this area up. Alright, you're gonna take your brake clean and bounce the shit out of it. It's a dirty old bitch. Alright, work your screwdriver, get the shit out of here. There is a snap ring somewhere in there. Might as well see the frustration. Slowly work it out, okay? Bunch of dirt and crap in there. Eventually, it comes out. Alright. Alright, so if you have oil, which I'm sure you do, you gotta take out your oil drain plug. <clears throat> It's usually that one, and you want it resting around the bottom, but you take it out anyway, it's gonna make a mess. Oops. So, like I said, eight milli Allen head. I'm sure this one has nothing in there. Okay, a little bit of pressure is normal. Yeah, look at that. That's terrible. It's not what you want to see. So, Take your handy dandy tool that we welded. Alright, thread it in there. Nice and easy. Make sure it's going in straight. Okay. Easy does it. That is not what you want to see. That has never been changed in his life. This, I mean, I'm lucky it didn't destroy the final drive. All right, so this is obviously the last thing you want to see. Gear oil has never been changed probably since 91. There's dirt in it, sludge. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know how the bearings didn't fail. They're probably on their way out. But anyway, uh, salvage what we can. So you're gonna take your brake clean, non chlorinated. There is a bearing right here, alright? So, keep that in mind. 
get all this sludge out of here. It's going to take a while. And eventually you'll start seeing the planted berries and the berries. Alright, so you got your planetaries all cleaned up. You got your face plate all cleaned up. Okay, front and back. Took out your little rubber o-ring. Take these plugs out, there's three of them. Dab a little bit of uh, anti-seize on there, do yourself a favor, nothing crazy. This one was stripped to begin with, so I had to weld the nut on there. But, uh, alright, we're gonna get to it. Alright, so all I'm gonna do, put a little bit of white lithium grease around the edge. The face is going to slide into that actual final drive. And uh, take the seal out, put a little bit around the rubber o ring. That way, it's dry. Alright, all right, so like I said, she's all lubed up. Alright, there's a notch cut out here. And a notch cut out here. Notice, you have two notches, two flanges. They go in those open spots. Make sure you're lined up. Don't be beating it in, not lined up. You're gonna flare it out and cause all sorts of issues that you don't need. So it should be nice and easy. Line it up the best you can. Going even. Grab a dead blow. Just work it in there. So she's in there, nice and tight. You to take your old trusty snap ring. Hopefully you didn't break it or anything and twist it. And kind of a pain in the butt. You gotta work it. Sometimes you need two hands. All right, so we moved the excavator. <clears throat> we got the final drive completely vertical now. Drain plug on the bottom, oil level in the middle, and you fill up top. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it, all right? Once oil starts coming out of here, it's full. These supposedly take 0.8 gallons of 30 weight. Yours might take 80, 90, straight 80, straight 90 weight. You gotta look it up. Every single one's different. So, I'll show you what happens. Mind you, it already has something in there. So like I said, you're gonna fill it. Once it starts coming out of that oil level hole, that's how you know you're full. And from there, you plug it up and you're good to go. Drink it up. So here it comes. That's it. That's how you know you're full.